so yes hi and hello dear friends welcome back once again to our channel vage academy of mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for cat mat and other management exams so what concept are we going to see here in this session if you see that here the concept is going to be highest power of a prime number p in n factorial so given a value n and its factorial that is n factorial and what approach you have to use in order to find the highest power of a given prime number p in that n factorial is what we are going to see here in this session so in order to understand from the very basic we'll have to take some basic example then work out an important problem here so we have a problem here based on the same concept our question here is what is the highest power of 3 in 120 factorial and here the value of n is when you compare it here so n value is 120 so 120 factorial and the prime number p here is 3 yes so the answer for this question is what we are going to find now but before that as i told we have to start from very basic so we'll take a quick easy example we'll understand the concept through that then we will work out a very easy i mean a very uh, what to say an easy shortcut we'll try to find the answer through an easy shortcut with that and we'll try to work out the answer for this question and get the answer yes steady so that is going to be the objective of this session so i'm going to take a very simple example now yes so suppose if we are given a question i'm going to take very simple numbers smaller numbers for better understanding so i'm going to take what is the highest power of let me just write it in a short form what is the highest power of the number 2 in 10 factorial suppose if i want to solve this question so here in this case our value of n is 10 and the value of p is 2 and here be clear the value of p must be a prime number yes and yeah of course our question is also in the same structure highest power of 2 in 10 factorial and how are we going to solve this question that is going to be the objective so if you see here in this 10 factorial we know what is factorial factorial of a number is nothing but factorial of any natural number is going to be the product of all the numbers from 1 to n that is what is factorial right yes so in that case here we have got 10 factorial so this 10 factorial will be nothing but it is going to be the product of all the natural numbers from 1 to 10 so that is 1 into 2 into 3 into and so on till 9 into 10 this is going to be the expansion of 10 factorial and here we are supposed to find what is the highest power of 2 we have got inside this 10 factorial right so we'll try to use the basic approach in order to solve this problem so what i'm going to find here is i'm going to see wherever i have got 2 here in this entire product and also i'm going to find out the highest power i mean the maximum power available Uh, uh maximum power of 2 available here in this product that is going to be the objective yes so if you keenly observe twos will be available only in even numbers is it or not so if i consider this product 1 into 2 into 3 into and so on up to 10 i will definitely have two only in the even numbers and so i need not consider any of the odd numbers here because it is mere waste of time if we just sit and examine whether we will be having two inside a one or inside a three or inside a five so because i will definitely say that i can easily say that definitely say that i will never have two inside the odd numbers i will have two only inside the even numbers so let me just pick only the even numbers which i have here yes ready shall we do shall we do that so if i try to do it i will have two four six eight ten only these are going to be the even numbers and we can assure that Two will be there only inside these five numbers. And now the next task is to see what is the highest power of two available in each of these numbers. Shall we do that? Yes. We'll start from this two. So it's very easy to say inside this two there will be only one two. That means I can have two power one maximum inside this two. Come into this four. So this four inside that four. i will be having two twos is it or not so that is inside this four i have got two square so that is i have got two twos here or or even i can say that i have two power two inside this four 
same way let's examine the same thing here in all the all these uh, remaining numbers also coming to the six so inside the six again we will happen to get only one two because i will have only two power one inside the six because six is nothing but the product of two power one into three power one is it or not so in that case we will have two power one alone here in this uh, six and coming to this eight so inside this eight astonishingly we have got three twos right so we have got two power three here because eight can be expressed as two cube so that means maximum twos available inside this eight will be there will be three twos available so two power three and again coming to ten there again we will have only one two that is i can have maximum two power one inside that ten and now our objective is to find how many twos are there in this entire product i mean 10 factorial so in that case we can just take all these numbers products and that will give us the maximum power available in two is it or not so shall we do that so in that case if i multiply all these numbers i will have the chance of getting the maximum number of two i mean the maximum power of two inside 10 factorial let's do that so one two one three one so when we just multiply all these numbers our bases are same but powers are different so in that case we can just add up all the powers is it or not so if we try to do that we'll be getting one plus two which is three three plus one is four four plus three is seven seven plus one is eight so in that case we have got two power eight inside this 10 factorial that's the result we can arrive with so we have got two power eight so that means the maximum or the highest power of two available in 10 factorial is nothing but eight so because we have got two power eight that is we can collect maximum two power eight or i can say we can collect maximum eight twos from this 10 factorial that's the meaning so that is what stands for this highest factor highest power of two in 10 factorial that's it okay so but what if we get some bigger numbers like see our question we have got 120 factorial can you even imagine doing the same process for 120 factorial is it going to be that easy like how we did here since our number here is a smaller number comparatively a smaller number just in here we are easily able to do this answer by a basic approach but what if you are given a very big number or a number even bigger than this what can be done so for that is what we are going to execute a very easy shortcut and we are going to solve the same problem let's see how that shortcut is going to work so in order to execute that shortcut i think this this small space is enough for us okay yes so yes how that shortcut is going to work it's going to be a very simple process see our n value so here our n value is 10 so here our n value is 10 and here highest power of 2 our p value is 2 so in school days we used to do step division right the same step division is what now again we are going to employ here so see how i'm going to start with i'm going to start with this 10 okay start with this 10 and try to do repeat factorization or step division with 2 yes ready so i'm going to start with 2 because our highest power we need to find the highest power of 2 only here so that's the reason i'm just going to divide it by 2 i'm going to do repeated division by 2 yes 10 divided by 2 i can do exactly 5 times again we have got 5 again take it 2 divided by 2 so 5 in 2 how many times will it go it can go for two times right of course there will be a reminder one but just don't worry about the reminders just take only the quotient we just need how many full numbers are there that's why so two and once again two i can go for one time yeah i can stop here because we have got a number which is lesser than the number which with which we are dividing so we have got one so stop there so i started with 10 and just doing repeated step division i got these steps right so now your process is over now all you need to do is just strike out the first number i mean the number with which you started just strike out that number and just consider the other numbers alone this five this two this one just add all these numbers five plus two plus one and that gives you the answer eight and that is going to be the answer for what is the highest power of 2 in 10 factorial i hope the process is clear to you so this is going to be the approach the basic approach with which we can solve the problem in order to understand the concept we can go refer this method but all the time you can't do the problems using the same method since if we get some bigger number 
it would be a great challenge or you you would you would see to consume more time to solve the problem using this method so in order to complete your problem in a very easy way in an efficient way you can just go for this repeated step division process this looks very cool right so 10 you are repeated repeatedly dividing it by 2 so 5 times again 2 2 times again 2 1 times that's it just eliminate the first number i mean our n value just eliminate the 10 take only the other numbers so 5 plus 2 plus 1 that gives you the answer 8 so that means the highest power of 2 in 10 factorial is going to be 8 that's it okay now i think the process is clear to you now let's try to solve the problem which we have got here what is the highest power of 3 in 120 factorial i think we can directly go with this step division method itself yes if you are ready we can start so yes we'll begin our n value here is 120 and our p value here is 3 is it or not so in this case we have to start with 120 and i'm going to repeatedly do my division with the number 3 because here our p value is 3 so start your division with 3 so 120 in 3 it's exactly 40 times and once again go for 3 so 40 in 3 we can go up to 13 times is it or not because 3 13s are 39 so we can go up to 13 times as i told only the quotient is important and once again go for 3 so 3 4s are 12 so we can go up to 4 times and once again 3 1s are 3 yes that's it so we can't proceed further because we have got a number which is still lesser than our number with which we are dividing and as usual what else we can do is we'll just eliminate our first number 120 because that's a number from where we started so eliminate that number and we have to add all the other numbers that is this 40 yes then this 13 plus this 4 then plus this one so this would give you 40 plus 13 plus 4 plus 1 this will be a 5 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 13 will be 18 and 40 plus this 18 will be 58 so that means we have got 3 power 58 maximum 3 power 58 inside this 120 factorial and that is going to be the answer for this question i hope the process the method that we saw here or the approach we used to solve this problem is very clear to you and if you find this video to be useful please give a like and also share your friends yes again in our next session we'll try to catch up with another interesting concept see you soon there thank you so much